See, these guys are actually good at rewind. This is so emotional. It's really cool. Wow, Game of Thrones. This is outrageous. This is so dumb. I should run the internet. Throughout history, in times of uncertainty, the world looks for heroes. Oh, this is like Google's most searched. I love this. Oh, is this another Two, rewind in 2000? Is this three. Google's rewind or something? Yep. Okay, great. Some end game. Great. I'm really curious where we're going with this. It's going to get me emotional. Why? Oh, no. Because it's Iron Man, dude. Cool Scar heroes arriving in the Abaco Islands. Five young boys create a rescue trampoline. Oh, yes. Whoa! No way! We have seen. See, these guys are actually good at rewind. <laughs> this is a heartfelt video. This is a try not to cry challenge. But then his seven year old son ran onto the cart to give his. Oh, kids are the best! Oh, darn it. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. This is so emotional. It's really cool. Wow, Game of Thrones! <sighs> Dang. <laughs> Rest in peace, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Alright, don't, don't show me Game of Thrones. You're, I'm gonna be crying for other reasons. This is one of my favorite videos from this year. My gosh, as a dad, this is hitting home for me really hard. You are free to be you. Oh, I love that one. Lizzo! He's the Sully Sullenberger of pizza. Same. Oh my gosh, I never saw that. That's cool. My family is making a grant to eliminate their student loans. What makes a person a hero? And what's needed. I'm gonna fight this. Who says I can't? <sighs> I'm gonna fight this. Who oh, Alex? I can't. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Nobody. <sighs> Never been done in Goosebumps. Yeah, I have gooseys for sure. Ooh, dude, I got gooseys. <laughs> I've got, I got goosebumps right now. The category is yes. Billy Porter. Oh, oh, oh yes. your boys. Yes. Nipsey. Nipsey. This is so heartwarming. <laughs> I know, bro, dude. I feel so inspired now. That's awesome. Oh. That is a hero's journey. They have to end it with the old. They have to end it with Old Town Road. To everyone using their powers to empower others. Oh, that's amazing. Good job, Google. Nice. When Google puts their mind to an ad, they do really good. It's like the shot of like hope and humanity that you need at the end of the year. So that was Google's year in review video that they put out every year featuring some of the world's biggest events from the year. It was better than Rewind. It's very cut and paste, corporate inspiration porn kind of stuff, you know, but yeah, it's cool. I still think it's fun for people to see. I think that this is an overwhelmingly good thing. So along with the review, Google also released their most searched terms of 2019 in the oh, US. Gosh. And we're gonna see if you can place the top 10 most searched terms of 2019 in the correct order. Oh, snap. No, this would be easy. Let me tell you something other YouTubers. Oh, you listen close. Punch in right here. <laughs> You're goners. iPhone 11. iPhone 11, oh. Okay. Dude, we should know this, absolutely. iPhone 11. Wow, this was one of the most searched. That one's pretty high on the list. I think it's pretty low on the list. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that's low on the list. I'm gonna put it at number eight. I'm like surprised it's most searched. Why? Apple I mean, rules the a world, new, Eric. A new iPhone comes out like every year. Number four. I, I think number four. That has to be number one. <laughs> yeah, we're it's putting that number one. It has to be. It's, uh, it's Apple. That has to be number one for sure. We'll see. Welcome to paradise, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, Luke Perry. Welcome to your dream coach trip. Did I miss something? Did he die? No way, Luke Perry died this year? Oh, I forgot Luke Perry died. Hmm. He was on Riverdale, so that show is widely popular. Put him at six. Seven. Seven? Okay. Let's go. Oh, seven. Seven? I would put a nine. I would All the way to the bottom? Sure. This is what nearly 48 hours attached to the Oh, the hurricane. Oh. I mean, this makes sense, dude, yeah. <laughs> why are people searching so much sad things? Whoever hit the Bahamas crawled its way through the islands. Oh, yeah, the Bahamas. This was bad. With wind speeds of 180 That's miles so miles. scary. Hurricane Dorian is regarded as the worst natural disaster in the Bahamas history. So we urge our viewers to check the links in the description to find out how they can help deliver aid to hurricane survivors. Absolutely, absolutely. Click yes. the link in the description down below. 
help others in need. This kind know. of stuff, unfortunately, dies down really fast. That's true. Um, I I'd say lower it's or like, higher? I'd say nine. Okay. Dorian at number three. We're early in the list. I yeah. know. This is tough. It's um, a hard game. It's a, it's a hard <laughs> game. Gosh dang it. Let's go number three. Oh, no! Get it off! Get it off! Game of Thrones. Oh, yes. Game of Thrones. I've never seen it. I've tried. <laughs> I can't I, I can't get into it. I don't know. This is going to be high. This is high. Yeah. yeah. They're coming. Winter is coming. People will not shut the hell up about it. I assume that this is probably top three, but I just put Hurricane Dorian top three. That last season didn't I'd say like right around justice. Here. I would say just two. in case. Yeah. That one, you know? I'm saying this is like four. So many people were upset about it, though. I was very upset about it. I want to say it's like number two or three. I know. I feel like that was really high. That had a very strong that impact. That was on very a lot contentious. Of Let's put it at three. Let's okay. It. From alleged victim to suspected criminal. Today, oh, geez, this whole thing. Oh, I remember this, yeah. Conduct. He was claiming that he was, like, uh, assaulted. What did he do? He, like, um, staged himself getting attacked. Comes three weeks after Smollett told investigators... I always want to say Dave Chappelle's juicy smoothie. <laughs> ...homophobic hate crime. This was big. Dang it, this is going to be hard. Dang, y'all getting controversial in here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think I think that's more like around here. Yeah, personally. I agree. It was an ongoing case that people were invested in. Um, so I'm going to put it at four. Gun violence has taken the life of Los Angeles rapper Nipsey Hussle. E.T. Live host wow. Latino, oh, was over this, the phone to talk about Hussle. This is up there. Death. He was this 33 was years old, but he'd actually just released his full debut album, and it got nominated mm -hmm, for Best so Rap sad. Album at the Grammys just this year. He had started this center where he said he wanted to bridge the gap between Silicon Dang. Valley and the inner city. It was a co-working space. Wow. He wanted people to come there and get ideas generated. See, that sucks. We need more artists like Nipsey that are trying to really use their platform for good. Uh, number seven, maybe? Eight? Yeah, I think number eight. We'll put it at five. I think he's searched more than Game of Thrones. Some people move on. Avengers Avengers, Avengers. There we go. Heck yeah. Oh my god, I love this movie. Bananas. All the lead up to it, all the follow up afterward. I'm still seeing news stories about Avengers Endgame. Bananas. This is going to be number one. Yeah, no, that one's up there. That one's. I'd, I I'd think say either one or three. I would say it's at one for now. Avengers. Number two. I think that more people were searching Endgame than Game of Thrones. I'm going to put it as number two. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah. Hey. I'm Cameron, and I play Luke. Oh. Cameron to me is like, oh. you know, he's an actor. He's like a director's actor. I think Cameron of the four of us just had Oh, he passed away. Did he pass away too? Ever. Like none of us put together could ever oh. have the amount of swag that Cameron has. This is so sad. He actually had just like, he was just like the sweetest, you know? You didn't think you could have had this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a charismatic kid. Cameron was one of our first friends when we moved out here to LA. We went to school with him. He was such a good guy, just very kind. I'd say six. I feel kind of wrong trying to go like. I know. I hate these. I hate having to rank this. <laughs> uh, but uh, what do you think, five? So some of these searches on this list include artists, musicians, and actors that have passed away this year. So why do you think that they end up being some of the most searched terms on Google? Oh, because people want to revisit all those memories that they have connected to that person. Everyone wants to share their kind of condolences or s collective sadness or grief over Twitter, places like that. But it also prompts kind of that nostalgic want to revisit their past work and celebrate their life. England Patriots are releasing Antonio Brown. We I actually don't know what happened to him. I don't follow professional days, sports. But we feel that it is best to move in a different direction. <laughs> at uh, this time. Right. We're from Boston, so. From Boston, so this is this is big news every day. <laughs> Clearly, I'm a big sports baller, so I know all about this stuff. Would anyone actually be willing to- This is a guy who thinks his own poop don't stink. That, that <laughs> I don't respect those people. <laughs> um, Far-fetched at this point. What did he do? What did he do? What did this man do to get him kicked out? So that was the polarizing athlete, Antonio Brown, who was once regarded as the best wide receiver in the NFL. Brown made headlines when he was released from the Oakland Raiders and then signed to play for the New England Patriots. And about 10 days after signing, the team released him over rumored behavior issues, including sexual misconduct. The Patriots do not tolerate any funny business. We're going to put it at 10 for now. I think that one's lower. All right, I'm going to put Antonio at number four, but he's going to get dropped down after this situation. <gasps> Oh. This has got to be high. Disney Plus is legendary right now. I gave in. I subscribed. 
something extraordinary. Um, Would Disney Plus be bigger than Avengers next? because it has Avengers on it? No. No. That's our special. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying this up. Two Disney things are on this list. Disney Plus, it's gonna go number one for right now. It's gonna end up as number two. The fact that they got 10 million subscribers in the first day, that's huge. I'm feeling better about this list now, honestly. This gives me perspective. Now that you've watched through all these, we're gonna give you a chance to rearrange and let us know when you're locked. Remember, you get two points for every answer you get exactly correct, and then one if you were one off. We're definitely failing this <laughs> one. Uh, three in three. You got this, dude. I thought I got rid of tests when I graduated college. This is too hard. Pretty confident. Yeah. As well. Yeah. I'm, lo I'm locked in. Yeah, we're locked in. Where's my buzzer? <laughs> Number 10 is Jesse Smollett. Oh! 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 Jesse, you number 10, you. Woo! Whoop. Bring it there. That's two points, brother. Yeah, buddy. Hope you guys got that one. At number nine is iPhone 11. <laughs> What? Are you serious? Apple better pick their shit up. <laughs> iPhone 11. Okay, iPhone we 11. We put number two. How did that happen? How did we? How did we do that? Number eight is Game of Thrones. Whoa, we eight? were way off on that one. Yes! Woo! Two, two points. points. We got it perfectly yeah. right. Oh, this is a blood. But this is the worst I've ever done in one of these games. Number seven. It's Avengers Endgame. We got it right oh, now! Dude, let's go. Oh, let's yeah. go. Oh, okay, see? Yeah, we spend too much time with our nerd friends. Dang, we were so confident in that top three. Really bad. If Disney Plus isn't out there, I'm gonna cry. This is outrageous! This is so dumb! I should run the internet. So number six is Luke Perry. Luke Perry. We had him at nine. nine. So we're way off on that one. Yeah, we're way off on that yeah. one. Still at zero, just... Just keep giving me zeros. Number five is Antonio Brown. We had that at 10. Okay, I got one point for that. Number five, Antonio Brown. I knew he was higher up there. No, we no points for Antonio. I got one point, numero uno. Number four, Hurricane Dorian. Oh, I knew it was top five. We had that as number one. Mm. We Nailed got that it. one. That's we two got points. That one for sure. That's two points. Yes. Wow, I can't believe we're getting so hyped about a national tragedy. <laughs> number three is Nipsey Hussle. But at wow. number five. He was so, wow, that was crazy. Wow. Nipsey at six. At oh. six. Really upset at myself. So hard. We, we really put our thought into it's it. It's because we put too much thought into it. Number two is Cameron Boyce. Wow. Wow. He I actually really, should have seen that comment. I mean, he really made an impact. Yeah. Mm. Oh. oh. Meaning number one is Disney Plus. Dang, we were off there. Dang it, dude. Wow. We had it originally at one. Doesn't that mean we get a point? No. Well, we didn't do too hot. We got three, three points. points. My uh, takeaway from this is that uh, things you think of the center of the universe are not the center of the universe for everybody. It was a very like life-changing year for a lot of people, so like, Naturally, I think everyone kind of feels that, especially with like Hurricane Dorian and mm -hmm. um, obviously like a lot of these people who passed away. Like that's, I mean, those were all big people in the communities that they were a part of. It feels like a frontier. I feel like that's the word that I would boil this whole year down. There's something, we're moving into new uncharted territory and it's exciting and it's scary, um, but you have to be a, a hero and, and go to the place that scares you. Thanks for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Subscribe to all the creators in this episode. Links are down in the description below. What are you excited for in 2020? Let us know in the comments. Later. Hey y'all, FBE producer Blythe here. If you want to check out all of the creators in this episode, then check out the links in the description. Bye.